Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or back to my channel. It's Krista here with another video. Today I'm going to be trying out a new hairstyle, which is a combination of a crimp and curling hairstyle combined into one. So let's get into the video. Okay, I am wearing the golden silver. Hey guys, welcome to my So, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's kind of a style, and it probably has been going on around for a while, but I'm just new to it. But there is a new style going around where you have a crimped look and a curled look in the same style. I thought it was super, super cute, and I wanted to try. So, we'll see if this is going to be a fail <laughs> or if it's going to be something that's actually going to work out. So, I have my Hot Tools crimper, and then I also have my Bioionic curler. These both will be linked in the description box below. I absolutely love these guys. Anytime I'm crimping or curling, this is what I use. So, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I did was I already put oil in my hair, some heat protectant. So if you are gonna be trying to follow along with this, make sure you put heat protectant in your hair first just to protect from any damage that heat can cause. So the second thing, I'm just gonna be brushing through my hair, just making sure that it's really nice and smooth. So, there's a bunch of different ways to curl or crimp or just style your hair in general. So these, anything that I show you guys in all of my videos throughout my channel, it's just kind of what works best for me. I don't really feel like in the hair industry there really is one right or wrong way to do things, it's just kind of work, what works best for you. Let's get this parted off. part it off. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy or perfect. I'm going to throw in some curls in the front. Um, I have posted a curling tutorial for you guys, so if you haven't already checked out that video, please do so. But basically, I'm just going to throw some curls in the front. Okay, so I'm taking the smaller sections because I do want this look to be more messy. I feel like if you take bigger sections, a lot of the times, Girls can tend to clump together, and same thing with the crimps too. Because I mean, it's kind of hard, but no, if you do small enough sections, I feel like no two curls are the same, and I feel like that same rule applies for crimping your hair. So I'm taking probably half of that. So I'm taking just a smaller section, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start crimping. I'm not holding it on for super long just because I don't want it to be like super, super crimped. <gasps> okay, now I'm gonna switch back to the curler and just keep going. So basically what I'm doing as far as curling is I'm gonna be curling all of these away from my face. I'm also leaving out like a good one to two inch sections, kind of depending on the curl. I'm gonna start a bit of the crimp. I don't really think I'm gonna follow a certain pattern. I just think I'm gonna kind of play it by how it looks in my hair. I think that's kind of the fun thing about doing this style that I've seen is that you can kind of just do what you think looks good and then base it off of that. What I've kind of seen is people throw in more curls than they do crisp. I'm gonna try to follow that rule of thumb a little bit. I think that I'm just gonna kind of let my hair and what I feel like works best do its thing and then just kind of play off of that. And if it looks horrible, well then maybe try a pattern. So I'm gonna add another curl right here. Okay, so there's this side, right here. Okay. So I'm gonna crimp this top section here. What's hard I feel like about this is like, I figured this was gonna happen, but I'm kind of like, all right, which, hair, like what piece of hair haven't I curled or done anything with yet? I'm used to just doing either curls or crimps. I'm not really used to doing either one. And if I do curl pieces like forward facing, like toward my face instead of away, I kind of have my own little rhythm that I do that with. And so this is a little bit challenging for me just because A, I've never done it, so I don't exactly know if uh, following a pattern is good or if it's more just like sporadic. So again, I'm gonna want to be just doing these ribbony curls. I feel like just look the best as far as like if you're wanting more of a beachy look, something a little bit more wavy. So 
So see how that's like super ribbony? That's what you want these to look like. So you guys, this is the first layer of what everything looks like. What do you think? I know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Not really used to it yet, but that's okay. This actually isn't super time consuming. I kind of thought that this was going to be a, like take me a good chunk of time. Just because I feel like I can curl my hair fairly quickly and also crimping my hair takes me like zero time. So I was kind of thinking like, man, I wonder if this is actually going to take me a little bit longer because of... I don't know, maybe it's just like a new style, but I actually don't feel like it's taken me quite as long as I was thinking. So that's good. I don't feel like any two crimps are the same. So I feel like you get a different look with every crimping piece that you do crimp, which is why I did those two separately. I didn't want to do them together. So I think it makes it look a little bit more PC if you do them separately. that like crimping hair when you have hair extensions looked horrible. And I'll be doing a video on how to crimp hair with hair extensions in, because for me, it took me so long to figure out how to crimp my hair with extensions because I felt like my real hair would like poke out and then my, you know, the extension hair would would not poke out and it would just, it would just look like a mess, so. But I kind of feel like I figured out how to crimp my hair without <laughs> having my real hair poke out. So I'll be doing a video on that really soon. So if you have like any type of extensions, clip-in extensions, more like tape-ins, sew-ins, glue, whatever you use, beaded wefts, any type of extension really, you can hopefully watch the tutorial that I'll be putting out. Okay, second. Hey, this is like looking pretty good, I think. This top layer might be a little tricky for me because I'm in the process of growing out some bangs. I'm actually thinking right this second that I should thin these out a little bit because they're kind of thick. Yeah, I'm done. So the top layer, I'm gonna make sure and be extra careful that I'm taking really small pieces because I really want this look to be really piecey and beachy and wavy and I don't want it to look too uniform together. I don't know what to do. We're gonna curl this one too. And then I'll take like a really small piece, like probably smaller than this piece that I'm curling right now and crimp it. And I don't want like an overall crimped look. I'd rather have more of an overall curled look. I don't know. We're gonna find out together, and that is all that matters. 
yikes. getting a really good like fun elongated curl is always angling your curling iron down as best you can. For me I'm left-handed so here the this is going to be angling down over this way and then it's down this way too because if I do this it feel the curl kind of gets pushed up but if I do it this way it gets pushed down if that even makes sense. So we're gonna just okay it's done. I actually don't feel like this turned out horrible, <laughs> which is it's a good thing. So I'm gonna finish this off with my Hold Me Three Ways Hairspray. Um, I'll have this link down below, but I have talked about this in a product review in my last video, so if you haven't checked that out, check it out. I'm gonna put it on the light side, and you just twist the cap, and then just make this, and then I'm just gonna kind of go through, and then I'm gonna go underneath here, and then when I do detangle these, I'm not going to detangle them with a brush or a comb or even a wide tooth comb of any sort because I want these to look super, super piecey. I don't want them to be blended with each other in any way. I want a really beachy, wavy, messy, kind of pe uh, peachy, peasy look. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's get to detangling these. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm just gonna basically run my fingers through my hair like this. And I'll just do that around my whole head. Okay, so once I'm done detangling, which I have, I'm gonna go back in with my hairspray and I'm gonna Kind of give myself just a little bit more body, a little bit more texture. Well, I think it is safe to say that this hairstyle is Keijo Styles approved. I will be doing this more from now on. I think it's so fun and just messy and, but I feel like you can definitely like dress any way with this hairstyle. You could go out in sweats, you could go out in a dress, you can do literally whatever with this hairstyle. It's so cute. So this is the finished product. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, I'll have everything linked for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.